Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at Lightroom Classics Color and Luminance Range Masking. Range Masking provides a non-destructive and completely re-editable way to limit the local adjustment tools to a range of colors or tones. We'll start with the Luminance Range Masking. I'll select the Graduated Filter and set the exposure to negative one stop and click and drag down into the image area. The only problem is that while I'm darkening the sky, I'm also darkening the trees. In order to prevent this from happening, I can choose luminance from the range mask options and then use the sliders to adjust which luminance values are adjusted. Moving the right ones will limit the adjustment to the darker values, in this case the trees. Moving the left slider will limit the adjustment to the sky, eliminating it from the trees. I can then further refine the adjustment using the smoothness slider. This will control the transition between the tonal values that are affected and those that are not. So moving it over to the left makes it much more abrupt. Moving it over to the right smooths it or adds a little bit of softening. If I hold down the Option or the Alt key while I'm moving the smoothness slider, I can visualize the mask as a white mask over a black background. All right, in this next image, I want to desaturate the blue in the sky, but not in the rest of the image. I'll select the adjustment brush in order to make my initial mask. But before I apply the adjustment, I want to point out that I'm going to want to select the blue part in the sky that is the most different from the other colors in the image. So I want to click up here in the bluest part, not in this lighter, more desaturated portion near the horizon. It's just going to help make sure that the adjustment looks as natural as possible. All right, so I'll start painting. You can see that the brush is still filled with the negative one stop adjustment from before. And the good thing about this new range mask is that I don't have to be as careful with my initial mask. I'll go ahead and double click exposure to reset that and bring down the saturation. Then under range mask, I'll select color and pick up the color range selector. If I have a specific color that I want selected, I can click to create precise point samples. If I need to add to those, I can add the shift key. But in a sky, it's hard to accurately capture the color transition with a series of point samples. So instead, I'm going to click and drag an area sample to ensure that all of the colors in the sky are selected. Now, to refine the color range selection, I can use the amount slider. And if I move it to the right, I'll include a wider range of colors similar to those that were initially sampled. If I move it to the left, I'm going to narrow down the range, and so we don't see as much adjustments happening in the building or in the awning. If I hold down the Option or the Alt key while I'm moving the amount slider, I can see the mask that Lightroom is using. Now in this case, I don't want to completely desaturate the sky, so I will adjust my saturation slider. And of course, we're not limited to just a single adjustment. If I want to combine this with any other option, I can go ahead and move, for example, the clarity slider in order to make that adjustment as well. So there you go. I hope you all enjoy the new color and luminance range masking in Lightroom Classics.